guys, what's up? It's me, Percy. So, you know that I'm not one to keep secrets about how I do things with art. So, you know what? I was gonna let you all in on, it's not really a secret, it's just a technique that I figured out, and I really like it, and then other people kind of like it too, so I kept going with it. And it's my galaxy, like, art with the Disney art and everything, so I'm, not, I'm gonna teach you it today. Or at least I'm just gonna give you the tips that I have come to learn about galaxy art, all right? All right, first of all is what I do for the swirls around them. I do, here is a little tip. I do put this stuff on my characters now. I have recently discovered that putting this stuff is really gonna save me time and it's going to uh, save the painting itself because there are so many moments when I completely mess up and I get the swirls on my characters and everything or I can't do the swirls as well and everything. It's great, it's called Masking Fluids by Windsor & Newton. I picked mine up from Michaels. You can pick it up from Michaels. I'm sure you can purchase it on Amazon. So, but what it does is, as you can see, it gives this nice little coat on there and then later on I can paint my background. None of the paint is going to get on my two characters as you're about to see and then I can peel it right off later and you'll see that later as well. But it's really awesome and one of my teachers actually recommended it so I thought hey why not I'm going to go ahead and give it a try. So. What the thing is with this is I just like usual, I get a little bit of water and I pick a color and then I just make a swirl. Like, okay, I know that I, know I want to swirl. It doesn't matter where the swirl goes. Maybe I want my swirl to start back here. And then I want it to come over here and then swirl back up this way or something like that. And then I just add a bunch of water and it doesn't matter how big my swirl is, I just make this gigantic swirl. And y'all have watched all my videos before about all my little tidbits and everything about watercolor and everything and you just see that I just keep wetting it around my characters and everything and you see how it's getting on the masking fluid is protecting my two characters from getting any color on it but that just makes my swirls a little bit more accurate and a little bit more symmetrical on each side it's fantastic material and I think everyone should give it a go and of course alright so now I've got this part and I'm gonna jump back over here and I'm gonna grab a little bit of purple and throw that in the works as well you've seen my galaxy art tutorial and that's basically just what I'm doing I'm just playing and I'm messing around I'm pushing the colors around adding more colors to it the only colors I do stick to are the blues and purples and everything so that's how I do my swirls so basically like I said watercolor is built up on layers and eventually I'll come back after the swirl is done and I'll just keep adding lots and lots of water it's like a wet on wet effect that's what it's the technical term is called Okay, as you've been watching me, I know you've been seeing me do like these dots and everything. And like I told you before, my Galaxy watercolor technique and everything, you can do this with this kind of watercolor paint. You can do it with the palette. I mean, it's any, any ways good. But basically what I'm doing is I'm just taking large glumps of my paint, my watercolor paint, on already wet, a wet part of the paper, and I'm just adding dots. And eventually it's gonna spread out and look gorgeous and it just gives it a really cool effect and just so if I want to I can help it out spread a little bit more by adding a little bit more water but yeah very nice okay so while I'm waiting for this part to go ahead and dry up a little before I start adding a couple more layers and stuff uh, and eventually I'll add some yellow and everything um, what I do just to kind of fill in the space, the, the blank space around them and everything, I just like doing little itty bitty areas like I do right here and I just like I do on my already watercolored how I was doing the dots, it's what I do. And I just go in, add a little bit of water on it and of course I'll just add a little bit of water here and then these will dry in place and plus it just looks really cool, fills in that space a little bit. Oh, 
Alright, for the second layer, now that this is dry and to speed things up a little bit, I took my blow dryer of course and I just sped it up and just dried it out just a little bit. I went ahead and I pulled my old paints, my palette paints, and you're, it's just the same. See, it's just going to be just as fine on here. And it makes such a pretty difference in everything. And just to show, I know some of you guys don't have the liquid watercolor, so I went ahead and I pulled my palette just to show you guys that any paint works with this technique, of course. And then basically just going, doing my second layer and just adding a little bit more swirls to it, making it pretty. Okay. Nice and fun. Here's what I like to do, just for a little bit of funsy since we're out in the middle of the galaxy. I do like putting little streaks of yellow everywhere. Just to give it a fun little green glow to the blue. And just to show a little bit of stars peeking through, of course. Once again, gouache by Winsor & Newton. I strongly suggest if you're into watercolor to get some of this stuff. It does beautiful things. And it's only like seven bucks and I got it from Michaels or you can order it from Amazon, I'm sure. If you don't have time to go to Michaels or Hobby Lobby or anything like that, I'm sure there's a way to order it online. I cannot put the cap on this, okay. But what it does, once I do have my good like couple of layers of my swirls down, before I get really heavy on my gouache and everything, I do go to the places that is still damp and I do blot it out like that just because okay can you see that I gotta move some light so it's not so shiny okay but I do go ahead and I blot it out just like that just to give it a little bit of cool like it'll white out these areas a little bit thing and it looks like cloudy skies like when you see in galaxy pictures so that's what I really really like when it does plus it just looks really cool and you apply it on and it just looks like starburst almost and I wish it would stay like that all right see how pretty and nice that looks like it's all cloudy and everything like from galaxy Sky skies and stuff it's so gorgeous okay but after that once I got a couple of those down I'll go ahead and maybe I'll add a few darker lines and stuff just to define it. See, that's part still not dry, but that's okay. But I'll just go and I'll define where my swirls are going a little bit more. Add a little bit more darker, like a good contrast marks. Just to give it a little more prettiness and saturation. You know, how it goes. After I've got my swirls gone down then that's when I start putting some I take my gouache and that's when I start making some good little pretty trails of stars just like that doesn't matter how big or small they are it's just trails and they're going everywhere and they're just flowing with the swirls that I've already made Okay, here's the fun part. Take off the masking. So much fun. So gross, but so much fun. You can see the masking fluid does not always work as well because there are some spots. I have noticed that. It's okay. It doesn't bother me at all. I'm not. I'm all right with it. But anyways, I'm going to jump back to my liquid paints over here put my palette over there because I have the colors that I want over here already mixed into place just because I like it okay now when you see my characters and everything on Instagram if you follow me on Instagram I highly suggest that you do but when you see my uh, Instagram posts and everything you see that I take a piece of their clothing it doesn't matter what piece and everything um it's just I have to make a uh, galaxy portrait out of their clothing and everything so of course all right I've got some blue over here so I want to come over here 
and I'm going to make Wendy's dress blue. But as you have seen, I have made another Galaxy tutorial, and you see how I just, how I make the splotches and everything. Switch to my big brush. I make, the, like I said, it's the wet on wet effect, and be very very careful with Peter's hand. So right, I'm going to get this area nice and wet and everything, and this nice pretty blue, and I'm just bringing it out all over the place. Alright, so then that's when I start picking my areas like, okay, Wendy's going to be this entire shade of blue with this purple that's mixed over here and I'm just going to make little areas like this everywhere. And see how it's doing that and then it'll dry night, I keep putting wet on top of it, a wet on wet effect. It's in my other tutorial if you haven't watched it, I so suggest watching that before watching this. Alright guys, as you've been watching, I've been just pushing around the two colors, which is the blue, the purple, uh, the darkest, the bluish purple that I already mixed over there and everything. Now that she's dry, Wendy's dress is dry, and most likely her dress will be the same, the bow will be the same color as a dress, same palette and everything. And of course I mentioned about her belt being pink and everything, but it's just all the same process and everything. It's just me pushing around colors and make, make sure, making sure they mix in well enough with each other and beautiful enough. Okay, now when it comes to actually putting the stars or the jewels on their dress to make it look like stars on their dress, I, it's all just made up in my head. You just pick a way you want to go like I was going with my swirls. You know, I was just following lines. So let's say, okay, she's, let's say we want a ton of like beautiful sparkles up here. Once again, I'm using my gouache because I love it and I highly recommend it. And I just think about where is the light hitting Wendy? Or just the prettiness. Where is it coming from? Like maybe these are highlighted areas and I just give nice, good beautiful like star jewel patterns around there and everything. So there you go guys, that's the breakdown of my process and everything. Obviously there's still a lot to be done on this painting. Of course they've got skin colors, Peter's got to be his own palette of galaxy colors, but it's all the same process and I just jump around and I make patterns like these. Once my gouache dries that I've already applied on Wendy's dress, I still have this side, but eventually I'll jump back and forth while I'm waiting for this gouache to dry. I would usually come over to the side and I would go ahead and I'd start applying little sparkles on that side. But it's all just made up in my head. It's just the way I choose and everything. And just, yeah. So it's easy, it's fun, you just use your imagination. There's no fu there's no hard technique, you can do it with any watercolor you choose or whatnot. And I'm sure if you follow me on Instagram, you're going to see this finished product and everything. But I just wanted to teach you guys as a more of a tip tutorial, because you guys have been asking me on my Instagram and Twitter and everything, asking me, can you show us how to do your galaxy technique? So here it is guys, I don't hide any secrets, I'll probably go back and I'll touch these stars up and everything, whatever. It's just a whole process. These um these pieces do actually take me a lot more time other than regular pieces that I draw and doodle and paint and stuff. Just so, yeah. But I hope this was helpful and I hope you try it out because it's a lot of fun and once you get it down to like that, then it's really easy to go ahead and do it and you make some really beautiful creations out of it. Whatever, but yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great weekend, and I will see you on Tuesday. Oh, and I apologize for my nails. I have a bad tendency of painting them and then peeling the crap out of them, as usual. But yeah, have a great weekend, guys. And I hope you had a great first week of school. Bye!